Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look into the all-wheel drive 2017 Volkswagen Golf All-Track. In this review, I'm going to cover five main topics, including styling, performance fuel economy, interior space, pricing, and a general features overview. Of course, I'll take it on a thorough drive and show you many of the unique aspects throughout the interior as well as exterior. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in, start her up, and let her run. While this example isn't equipped with a smart key entry system or push button ignition, both features are available. The Golf All-Track is all new for the 2017 model year. It primarily competes against the Subaru Outback and XV Crosstrek, representing an affordable alternative to pricier all-wheel drive wagons currently on sale. I've always been a big fan of both hatchbacks and wagons. Depending on the make and model, cargo and passenger hauling abilities can easily match or exceed many compact SUVs and crossovers, while a lot of the time delivering a more rewarding driving experience. This is especially true with the Golf Sport Wagon. The all-track is more rugged and capable thanks to the inclusion of 4-motion all-wheel drive, increased ground clearance, and unique styling touches. More importantly though, it hasn't lost its well-mannered and fun-to-drive nature in the transformation. Up front, there's a redesigned bumper with an added underbody guard, a matte aluminum low-profile radiator grille crossbar that extends into the headlamps, a lower silver crossbar that incorporates standard fog lamps and unique black honeycomb grills. The side profile features body cladding on the sills and around the wheel arches that carry over into the lower areas of the front and rear bumpers. Standout elements include reflex silver side mirrors, silver side moldings, and chrome belt line trim. On SE and SEL grades, a panoramic sunroof is standard. Outback, the Alltrack gains dark red tail lamps, additional underbody protection, and twin chrome exhaust outlets. Like all other Golf derivatives, the Alltrack takes advantage of VW Group's new modular transverse matrix platform, also known as MQB. By dictating a fixed relationship between the front wheel, center line, and pedal box, where approximately 60% of a vehicle's development costs lie, this newfound philosophy of building cars is meant to streamline vehicle production and allow for a greater range of flexibility with vehicle design. This led to a complete redesign of the Golf's body in white back in 2015, utilizing more advanced construction techniques to make it both lighter and stiffer than their predecessors. Pricing for the 2017 Golf All-Track begins at $25,850 for the S, $29,450 for the SE, and $32,890 for the SEL. Our All-Track S Tester with the automatic transmission and driver assistance package retails for $28,615. That also includes an $820 destination charge. The Alltrack S and SE both come standard with a set of 17 by 7 inch silver painted alloy wheels and 20555 all season tires. The SEL receives unique 18 by 7.5 inch wheels and 22545 all season tires. With the latter, it's able to corner at an average of 0.81 g of lateral acceleration. Bringing the car to a stop from 60 miles an hour takes about 122 feet, thanks to 11.3 by 1 inch internally ventilated discs up front and 10.7 by 0.4 inch solid discs in the rear with single piston calipers. A 4 channel ABS system is included along with electronic brake force distribution. Underpinning the all track is a four wheel independent suspension with McPherson struts in front, a multi link design in the rear, and front and rear stabilizer bars. It rides 6.9 inches off the ground, which is 1.4 inches higher than a Golf Sport Wagon. The electric power assisted speed proportional rack and pinion steering is unchanged. It takes 2.76 turns to lock and has a ratio of 13.6 to 1. While devoid of some feel, it's nicely tuned overall and delivers smooth and predictable behavior. Despite having a taller ride height and weighing more than any other sport wagon currently on sale, the Alltrack still manages to handle itself admirably through the corners, feeling pretty agile with predictable body roll. 
total curb weight for this example is around 3,422 pounds. Like any other golf I've driven, the Alltrack feels solid and composed over rough surfaces and always maintains good ride quality. Of course, the real magic here is VW's 4-motion permanent all-wheel drive system. Combined with a taller ride height, it creates more of a multi-purpose vehicle that can be used for a much wider array of activities. During low loads and coasting, the all-wheel drive system has the ability to decouple the rear wheels to help conserve fuel. At a moment's notice, they can be re-engaged in just a fraction of a second. The distribution of torque is routed through four motion center differential, which is controlled by an electrohydraulic oil pump. Up to 50% of the available torque can be sent to the rear wheels at any given time. While the center differential acts longitudinally, the Alltrack's front and rear electronic differential locks provide additional control laterally. As a function of the electronic stability control system, they're able to brake a spinning wheel in order to transfer torque to the wheel on the opposite side for greater traction. On top of that, VW's XDS Plus cross differential system is also standard. In a nutshell, it's a brake based electronic substitute for our mechanical limited slit differential, also used in the GTI and Golf R. If one of the four wheel sensors detects excessively light loads, the system will apply braking to the inside driven wheel to restore optimal traction and help mitigate understeer. The Alltrack is powered by a 1.8 liter turbocharged and intercooled four cylinder. It's constructed using an iron block with an aluminum head and features four valves per cylinder, dual overhead cams and variable intake valve timing. Fuel is delivered via direct injection, accompanied by a compression ratio of 9.6 to 1. Maximum engine speed is approximately 6,000 RPM. Developing 170 horsepower at 4,500 RPM and 199 pound-feet of torque at 1,600 RPM, the Alltrack should be able to hit 60 miles an hour in just over 7 seconds and accelerate to a governed top speed of 126 miles per hour. Performance on a day-to-day -day basis is pretty much identical to any other golf sport wagon. The engine delivers its power smoothly thanks to a flat torque curve and very little turbo lag. It's a lot of fun to drive, especially with the extra traction provided by the all-wheel drive system. Plus, if you ever find yourself off the beaten path, you'll find that everything works together quite nicely. VW did well by offering the choice between two transmissions, either a 6-speed manual or the excellent DSG dual-clutch 6-speed automatic. The manual will only be offered on S and SE models. The SEL comes standard with the automatic. DSG continues to yield quick and responsive shifts, making excellent use of the 1.8's available power. If you'd rather place control in your own hands, you also have the ability to change gears manually by either the console shifter or by a pair of steering wheel panel shifters. While in drive, if you pull the shifter back once more, you can switch between normal and sport transmission programming. Sport races the shift points and activates dynamic throttle blips on downshifts. Rev matching also applies to manual mode. There's even a handful of drive modes, including normal, sport, custom, and an exclusive off-road mode that alters the ABS system, accelerator pedal behavior, and even activates a hill descent function to better prepare it for off-road duty. As far as fuel economy, the 1.8 liter runs on regular and leaded, and in this case is rated between 22 miles per gallon in the city and 32 miles per gallon on the highway. Expected average is around 25 miles per gallon. The Alltrack sets itself apart once more by offering a larger 14.5 gallon fuel tank that's 1.3 gallons more than your regular Golf Sport Wagon. The Alltrack's interior builds upon the Golf Sport Wagon by offering the same amount of interior space and array of available features. VTEC's leatherette seating surfaces are standard, as are heated front seats. There's three color options available, including black, beige, and a unique Marrakesh brown color. Like any 7th generation Golf, the interior displays an upscale vibe. With the new MQB structure, first introduced back in 2015, both headroom and shoulder rooms saw improvements. By increasing total passenger area volume from 91.7 cubic feet to 94.3 cubic feet, the Golf Sport Wagon was made significantly more accommodating than the previously offered Jetta Sport Wagon. Thanks to a slight repositioning of the gearbox, pedals, and the seats, the Golf's ergonomics also feel more driver-oriented. The center stack is even angled towards the driver, something that not only benefits general ergonomics, but it looks cool too. 
Key standard features in the Alltrack include an 8-speaker sound system, a 6.5-inch capacitive touchscreen infotainment system, and a backup camera. Media options include AM, FM, HD, and satellite radio, CD, USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth audio streaming. Navigation is also an optional feature, as is dual-zone automatic climate control and a premium Fender audio system. VW is one of the first manufacturers to incorporate Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and MirrorLink all within one system. The screen itself actually mimics a smartphone. It's very responsive to swiping and touch gestures, even though it's a little bit on the small side. Overall build quality is top-notch for this segment, and there's plenty of soft-touch materials across the door panels, dash, and some areas of the center console. The driver's seat is plenty comfortable thanks to excellent lateral support and adjustable lumbar. Only on the SEL do you get the full 12-way power adjustments. Both front seats come standard with electric recline, but the rest of the adjustments are manual, including height adjustment. The steering wheel is manual tilting and telescoping. The headrests and seatbelts are also adjustable. There's a generous amount of storage space throughout the cabin, along with large door pockets and a small cubby in the bottom left-hand side of the dash, there's a small center console and a generous locking glove box. All Golfs include six airbags dispersed throughout the cabin. A suite of driver assistance features equipped on this example is also available, including forward collision warning with autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, park distance control, and more. Now let's go ahead and see if she sounds. Alright, let's go ahead and shut her down. Next, we'll hop in the back seat and check out overall space and amenities. The thing that I've always liked about the Golf Wagon is that it's not only pretty fun to drive, but it's also really practical with a lot of interior space and plenty of cargo space. Back here you can seat up to three people. There's good head space, pretty decent leg space, probably if you're you know, well over six feet you might start to feel a little bit tight back here, but I'm five foot ten and I still have about an inch and a half, maybe two inches of wiggle space for legs and about three inches or so of head space. There's three adjustable headrests and in the middle a fold down armrest with two cup holders and a trunk pass through if you need to stow some longer items through the seat. As far as comfort, like the front, the back seat is on the firmer side. I'd actually like a little bit more lower back support, but for what you get and the price point, it's pretty nice. You know, there's padding where it matters the most, good lateral support, and they look pretty cool as well. As far as amenities, you have child seat anchors to either side, side curtain airbags, grip handles up top with coat hooks, LED illumination, air vents in the bottom console, and plenty of storage across the lower door panels in the back of the seats. Like the front, build quality is also fantastic. Everything closes with a nice, tight, solid feel. So that's pretty much it for back here. Now let's head towards the rear and check out trunk space. The biggest reason for going the wagon route has to be the increased cargo space behind the rear seat, making it a far more practical option if you're going to be transporting larger items. Open up the hatch and you'll find a substantial 30.4 cubic feet of space. There's even a multi-position cargo cover to make sure items are protected from the sun and prying eyes. You can fold the 60-40 split rear seat by two convenient levers located on either side of the cargo area, expanding total space to an enormous 66.5 cubic feet. The load height is 24.8 inches, while the aperture is 40.6 inches. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the Volkswagen Golf Alltrack. Be sure to stay tuned next time, leave a like and subscribe today, there's always a lot more where that came from. Take care everyone.